Hey, this is Freefall. I know it's been a while, but I haven't made a tutorial, so I thought I should. This one's basically going to cover um, the downloading and the new codex and these icons that they added. So some of this is going to be a review, and some of it will show you some pretty neat stuff. First thing, um, I'm going to add an icon. I'm going to right-click, Edit Channel. I'm going to Edit Icon. I already have these uploaded. Um, you can go to xfire.com and just right click save the um, little icons. There are a bunch of them under games. Pretty much every gaming you can think of they have. So in the end, um, once you upload it, it appears here. As you can see, I have this server set up with a bunch of different icons corresponding to their games. So as you can see, Battlefield Bad Company 2. It's like that. I also have the soul joystick. Server, as you can see in bookmarks, the top one appears the link. So that's pretty neat. Um, keep in mind, this does take up room on your server, although it's nominal. So, not that much. Uh, now, what I'm going to have to show you guys is the new coder thing. If you update your server to the latest version, or your client delays version you need both to be updated because of the uh, codec delay they've added this which um, you can create your delay I really don't see the point in creating a delay because the whole point of getting TeamSpeak 3 is so you don't have a delay but it as you're looking up here like right around here where the mouse is the speed as you add delay the kilobits per second goes up causing more of a delay so, uh, if you want to sacrifice speed for a lower ping, you can find the right balance. I prefer having it at 20 and uh, quality at 7. This is the, my decent quality at 32 kilohertz. Um, this is the one I like. It sounds clean, um, doesn't use that much bandwidth, um, and it's flexible for people on multiple operating systems. However, um, if you really want to test it, you can. what I recommend is getting a USB headset and using a two male jack going from your phone out to your line and just stream like something using Windows Media Player or another type of uh, media player and just streaming it. You'll be able to hear it with your head USB headset while you have your um, input as your line in and then you have it continuously streaming so you can stream music and can constantly hear it I kinda like that so apply now if you don't have this set up you're gonna have to edit the permissions it's not that difficult I'm going into permissions group permissions you can otherwise click up here now I'm just typing in codec COD is pretty much all you need codec you'll have to add that one and then you'll have to add the length C factor set the value for one of 75 nothing will work so you're gonna have to update that um, another thing they've added is actually up here invite a buddy there's your link you can also add privilege keys oh that aka token sorry I forgot to mention they did change the name I don't know why. All no, my videos are not right, but oh well. So yeah. Um, as you can see down here, it also has the icons. Cool little things. I don't know why the channels don't. They have that. That'd be cool if they did the channel icons, but I digress. So um. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was file transfer. I'm not sure that I went into detail. I may have mentioned the privilege, but how do you do it? Well, this is very simple. All you have to do is right-click Open File Browser. Now you say, okay, you're looking at this, kind of intimidating. Not really. I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to call this one junk. You can create multiple ones. tells you when it's created. Now I can go in here. I'm inside of junk. I'm going to right click upload file. 
tool here is a resource hacker. It's finished in one second. Now it's here. Now they go up directory. Go in junk. Go in the other one. Not, not in here. So now if I go here, double click. That's pretty much it. It's that simple. So, you have your upload, download, and delete. You can also search. Switch the view, so that's pretty much it, and refresh. Just keep in mind that this method of uploading, it uploads it to the server box, wherever you have your TeamSpeak, and it stores it there, so if you have big files, it takes that in, it uses the bandwidth which is another thing so pings may go up while, or slow down while people are downloading so keep that in mind and the I know people have been complaining about their bandwidth and not being able to connect hello oh yeah with the invite a buddy this is your LAN IP address not your WAN which is actually kind of a pain in the butt so this is pretty much useless if it's on a home computer but if it's on a server box like this one it actually works and insert my current channel and yeah all that fun stuff oh yeah this is basically what it will look like when it's all done this is pretty much all modified and up to date now um, it's pretty much it oh yeah the one last thing I wanted to show I can't do it on my server so I'll do it on this one is the um host button as you can see I have it set for image jack and that's this icon and then it takes you to the home page for some reason I can't get it to um, work on my server but it's pretty much all it does I don't know if I've ever mentioned that in another video I haven't <laughs> watched them in a while so that's pretty much it with the updates they've tried to um, make it a little easier I, I think in less bandwidth but they've added some pointless stuff like I really didn't want to mention this but there's this spacer thing it's basically a channel I don't get the point if anyone figures out what it is tell me because it's my opinion stupid and they've added some permissions as I recall um, some new ones so I haven't looked at all these Honestly, there's some cool stuff, so I, I really don't think they've added anything worth mentioning. Oh, yeah, Whisper. It's back. It's annoying. So, yeah, um, add him as a buddy and block him. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I have. Uh, we have issues with people whispering. I believe there might be a setting to block it. I haven't explored this yet. I haven't messed with this whisper thing and I don't really intend to. I find it can be annoying. Although with continuous stream and the ability to stream music at decent quality, you can really annoy the hell out of people. I mean, I'm not giving you guys ideas, but <laughs> you can you, you guys can imagine. So yeah, I'm just warn it for warning you about that, that people can do that. Don't think they've added anything else worth mentioning. Sorry if that my mouse is moving around and annoying the hell out of you. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, phonetic nicknames. Um, I don't know if you know how to work with this. So pretty much what I'm going to have you do is go to Options, Notifications, switch default to text-to-speech. Your phonetic nicknames will work. That's pretty much it. Um... This is free fall another tutorial. I'll get one out on some other modification stuff, um, more advanced than this. Um, any questions, leave a message, post, whatever.